I'm gonna use my really, really long ruler and I'm gonna line up 29 inches right on that corner that I drew up here. And I'm gonna make sure I'm following my line or all the way down, down to here. Now I wanna make sure that I'm straight, relatively speaking, straight on the print of the fabric because fabric shifts a little bit, of course, as we're going and as it gets pulled. So we're gonna, I wanna make sure that I am going fairly straight on the, the pattern as well as is in relation to where my lines were. So if I have to shift this up just a touch, see if when I laid it down first, I'm kind of cutting off the edge of the blue in this flower down here, whereas I'm not even touching the blue up here. So I'm gonna shift that up just a little bit. And this is long enough that I shouldn't mess up my corner too bad down up here, but now it's gonna be straight on the print. So everything is gonna look really nice and even when we have the whole thing cut. So I'll draw that all the way down, make an extra mark here so we know. So there's my 29 inches on this side. Then I just have to turn my fabric and do the same thing the other direction, right? So I've got my, my square corner, the very first thing that we, that we drew on here. I've got my square corner up here. So I'm gonna get my 29 inch mark on there. And I am gonna measure all the way down here. Put my little dash at 29 inches. Draw my side. And we can see here, I'm very, I'm very nice and straight. I've got, like up here, you can see where I've, I'm coming across about the same part of this blue, the blue section of this flower all the way down that. Oh, I also it, have this little guy. Yeah, yeah, as many guy, as many same. points as you can find, that's a good point, as many points as you can find as, as reference points, the better. Uh, and it doesn't have to be super exact. This is such a busy quilt that it doesn't really, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. This corner is gonna get covered up by a Dresden fan too. So if things look a little funny in your corner, it'll be okay, don't worry about it. But, so I've got my mark down here at 29 inches. I made my other mark at the other side of our triangle way over there. So now ignore this line that's on here because that's not right. <laughs> so now I'm gonna turn the whole thing. So if you have a nice big dining table, this would be a great spot to do this because you wanna make sure you can, <clears throat> excuse me, have your fabric laid out nice and flat. Okay, now this long side is gonna end up being 40, 41-ish inches, uh, which is longer even than this handy dandy yardstick that we've got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this yardstick. I'm gonna actually start on this corner. So this has got this 45 degree line on it, this, this white diagonal here. So I'm gonna get that 45 degree on the 29, on the line that I drew here. Got that 45 degree there, and I'm making sure that point is right on my 29 inch little dash that I made at the end of that, that line. And then I'm gonna use this just to finish out the, the length of this diagonal. Okay, and we should come to right about there. So, cause I've got my, my dash at 29 inches right here. So I wanna make sure we're coming through that point and that we are nice and straight. Again, ignore this purple line, that's not even there. <laughs> yeah, this line, ignore yeah. this line. Yes, this is a good thing. Uh, so I'm on my 29 inch dash here and I am on my 29 inch dash over here. And we look like we are pretty close. I'm going to shift it just a little bit, just so I'm a little closer on the flowers. So I'm looking at the print here. I want to make sure. So I'm going to move it just a little bit. There we go. Okay. There we are. So I just moved it up a little bit. I've just kind of twisted where things are and Fabric shifts, especially this line. This is this this line is getting drawn on the bias of the fabric. So your fabric is going to shift a little bit on this one. 
and it's okay to help it shift or make sure it's it's just as relaxed as possible but we're gonna make sure I'm on my point I'm on my point and we're gonna draw that line in between the two make sure I can see my line that is it that's our first triangle so again we've got 29 inches on the side yep 29 inches 29 inches and then we've drawn the line in between the two of them and those are our cutting lines so once you have this one done you can cut it out set it aside you're going to use it as a template in just a second but we're going to cut another triangle. So that's our triangle up here. Yes. Okay. Right up here. That's up here. Yep. And then we are going to have another triangle down here. And see along this diagonal of our triangle, see how these these purple flower or, or pink. pink rather. This is purple. These are pink. <laughs> our pink <laughs> flowers are kind of in a line right along that. So if we look up a little bit on the fabric, Oh, look, here's another line of pink flowers. So we're gonna have another triangle. Go on the other direction. Going the other direction, exactly. So on this one, the flowers are uh, are coming away from the flat edge of the triangle, or here they're going towards the flat edge of the triangle. Same exact process, we're gonna get this pink flower up here, kind of centered in the corner. Um, about two inches from each side. That looks good. Okay, another little tip here. So I can, to make sure that I'm as straight as I can be on the, on the print as well as on the fabric itself, you can see this 45 degree line and kind of look at where it's coming through that center. This is where it, the more guidelines you can spot the better. But so, oh, so I'm coming across that, that green oval that's in the middle of the of the flower there and I'm kind of cutting off the top of it so here I'm going to follow that all the way down and I'm going to pretend that line extends and I want to just aim so that that's going to be going through the same spot down here mm -hmm. and that's going to help get me set up to be nice and straight on my print from the get-go uh, so same thing once I get that on there I'm going to draw my lines then I am going to use my nice long ruler, measure 29 inches from that flat, from that corner, 29 inches out. And that puts me right here. Double check that I'm at about the same spot on the, the print all the way across so that it comes out looking nice and straight. And I'm looking pretty good. I'm just right on the, the last little leaf of that green flower. Draw my line. Then come down the other direction. Go 29 inches the other way off of that first corner. So 29 inches. I'm gonna go straight down. And again, making sure I'm at about the same spot on the print all the way down and that I'm straight, that the, the lines on my ruler are straight on that first corner that I drew. Good down make an extra mark make sure you know where that 29 inches is and then just join the two to make your big triangle once you have both of those triangles made you can use them as templates to cut one more of each so one more with the more flowers sick. going this way and one more big triangle with the flowers going this way you use those as templates just like we've done on all the other fussy cutting you take your piece and you lay it on your fabric to line up the print and uh, use that to kind of trace out your next one. The other pieces that you need to cut, again, your pattern has this awesome diagram where on its own, it's a little bit confusing, but hopefully with this video, it'll make it a lot easier. So there's that big triangle. And then there's that, uh, the other big oh, triangle mm -hmm. that's offset just a little bit with those pink flowers right along that long edge. And then you're gonna repeat that set down here, but you can use these first ones as a template for those. Uh, we are also going to cut these 12 and a half inch squares. So that 12 and a half inch creative grids ruler, gonna be super handy here. Same thing, in fact, you guys have got this. I don't even necessarily need to show you. This is the hard part here. This is, this is easier than most of the fussy cutting you've already done. Um, 
from the leftovers after you've cut your big your big triangles just plop it down somewhere on there uh, you want to make sure that you've got one of these these pretty green flowers in a corner so plop your ruler down cut out a square and then just use that square as templates so that you've got four squares that are uh, that are about the same but that have that that little green flower in the corner and you want that green flower in the corner because if you look over here those uh, those Dresden plates those Dresden fans are going to get put on and then that green flower is going to be peeking out just like this there we go Ta and that way you'll have that same green flower same magic. on all of them So that is the last bit of cutting, of cutting out fabric for your whole quilt. Then you just need to put it together. The center part, you can actually get started on before you even cut it out. You can get, uh, you can make this, we've already made these sections. You've already put together your center. You should have your strips with their applique done. And it's just, it's just putting them all together at this point. So. If you want, let us know if you want. We can do a putting everything together video for you. But at this point, that's the easy part. You're good to go. So let us know if you have any questions. We love to see pictures of everyone's project progress as they're going along with this. Uh, thank you so much for playing along. Be brave. Happy sewing. Be brave. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.